Greetings to you all! I have been waiting for this opportunity since I started my channel, and it's finally happened. The Science Museum in London kindly agreed to let me film a tour video of their newly upgraded IMAX cinema. To say that I was impressed by what I saw there would be an understatement, and I can't wait to share my thoughts with you. Before I start, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram, or even consider supporting future videos on Patreon. All links are included in the description. And one more thing. Watch this video till the very end to get a chance to win one of two 70mm IMAX film cells of Christopher Nolan's 2017 movie Dunkirk. This is South Kensington, where the Science Museum is located. The fact that this IMAX theater is located inside the museum makes it a truly unique place. Where else would you see an airplane, the space rocket, the Hubble Space Telescope and hundreds of other amazing things while you're walking towards the auditorium. This IMAX theater first opened its doors in 2000 and underwent a major refurbishment in December 2020, when a brand new 12-channel sound system was installed along with a dual laser light source IMAX projectors. Enough talking, let's go in and take a look around. For some reason, this escalator makes me feel like I'm inside a sci-fi movie boarding a spaceship. The foyer has been fully rebuilt. Perfect geometric, ocean blue lines have a really calming effect and makes you want to grab some refreshments from the snack bar and immerse yourself in the whole experience. After climbing another set of stairs, I finally reach the auditorium. This is an enormous 400-seat auditorium. You can easily fit a few average-sized townhouses in here. During the refurbishment, all surfaces have been finished with grey or dark grey fabrics. Dark grey walls might not look super exciting, but there is an important reason to keep the wall finishes as dark as possible, as this helps to maintain a maximum contrast of the picture on the screen. Even though the walls are grey, the look of the auditorium has been livened up by a projection of the Science Museum logo on them. Overall, the lighting of the auditorium is well designed. I especially liked two clusters of light on the ceiling, which gave the room a futuristic look. And the most important thing, that none of the lights remained on during the movie. Nothing distracted me from the action on the screen. There is an aisle right in the middle of the auditorium. I'm presuming this was a health and safety requirement. It's not my favorite type of sitting layout, as for a real cinema nerd like me, it's really important to sit right in the middle of the auditorium to get the best viewing angle. The acoustics of the room were impeccable. There was not a single background noise inside the auditorium. The decay time was really short, which means that there was no annoying echoing and all dialogues was extremely clear. Another exciting thing about this auditorium is that it can be transformed into a live venue. There is an almost 12 meters wide hydraulic stage that can be raised from the floor. Ronson Theatre has hosted some really interesting events here. They even had Professor Stephen Hawking and Bill Gates on that stage. This screen is gargantuan. It's 16.8 meters high and 24.3 meters wide. Four double-decker buses stacked on top of each other would be a good reference to comprehend how big this screen is. In order to fill over 400 square meters of screen with crystal clear and super bright images, you need a really big projector. And Ronson Theatre has it. Three of them, in fact. Last year, after the major upgrade, Laser Light Source 4K projection system was installed. While watching movies in either IMAX or other cinemas, I always pay a lot of attention to picture quality. Sometimes I notice that the picture is not bright enough or colors are lacking vividness. Other times I can see imperfections that are not supposed to be there. 
That was not the case when I saw all three documentaries here at Science Museum IMAX. The image quality was perfect. It was crystal clear, sharp and bright, with deep contrast and vivid colors, exactly as advertised. I was also thrilled to learn that the Ronson Theater has kept its 70mm IMAX film projector, which makes it an even more unique place. There are only two screens in Europe at this moment that feature 70mm film and IMAX with laser projectors in the same auditorium. This projector is going to be very useful when Christopher Nolan releases his much-anticipated movie in 2023. I really hope to come back here one day and see this rare beast in action. I can only imagine what a fascinating spectacle it would be to see 250 kilograms of film running through all these pulleys into projector and back. By the way, there is a video on the official IMAX YouTube channel telling us about the latest IMAX projection system and explaining how it works. You can find the link to that video in the description. During the refurbishment, all speakers were replaced with a brand new 12-channel sound system. That means that in addition to four screen channel speakers and two surrounds, there are two extra side surrounds and four overhead speakers. This makes the sound system of Science Museum IMAX the most advanced sound system available today. All these speakers require a lot of amplification. This double rack of IMAX amplifiers was installed to drive those 12 power-hungry speakers. It's not often that the sound system in public theaters meets my expectation, but it certainly did here. The sound system was calibrated perfectly and the dialogue was extremely clear. I was able to hear everything from the faintest whisper to the rumbling of the rocket engine. Additional surround and overhead speakers really improved the precision of sound effect directivity. I can't wait to see an action movie in this theater. I am certain that it will sound epic for this state-of-the-art 12-channel IMAX sound system. Wow, I was really impressed by the Science Museum IMAX and will definitely recommend it to anyone. At this moment they are showing three programs here. Hubble 3D narrated by Leonardo DiCaprio, a beautiful planet 3D narrated by Jennifer Lawrence and the latest Antarctica 3D narrated by Benedict Cumberbatch. All three documentaries are well worth watching and will give you an unforgettable experience. Occasionally they show big blockbuster movies here, so it's worth checking their website for the latest announcements. Great, and now I will tell you what you need to do to get a chance to win one of these two beautiful 70mm IMAX film cells. They were given to me by Science Museum and I thought that it would be fun to share them with you. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to Bortec channel and the most importantly leave a comment I want IMAX film cell, followed by the country and your city or town. I will post it to any country in the world which can be reached by UK Royal Mail. I will randomly select two winners after this video reaches 10,000 views and announce them here. Good luck! This is it for this time. I want to thank the Science Museum in London for making this video happen. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Goodbye!